Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at a particular topic area called iteration. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to actually do the problem and then at the very end of the video I'm going to show you why we actually do things in this particular way. Okay, so it, they usually tend to be quite wordy and it says that show that when f of x equals zero the equation can be arranged to give that. So basically all we're doing is we're going to make one of these x's and we've got this kind of x cubed thing here or this x here the subject of the formula so all we're doing is just rearranging that now if you can see that because we've got a cube root here we're actually going to make this x the subject of the formula because at the end of it we're going to be cubing both sides okay and that would give you this cube root so basically what we end up with is saying well if f of x is zero then zero equals x cubed plus x minus three okay now as i mentioned before i'm going to try to make this the subject so i need to bring these two over towards the left hand side so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add three to both sides if i add three to both sides i get three equals x cubed plus x and then i'm going to minus x from both sides if i do that that and that go and i get x cubed equals 3 minus x and hopefully you can see that if x cubed equals 3 minus x then x equals the cube root of 3 minus x and that would be the answer to that particular question. So once you get used to these sorts of things, you're okay. It's just a case of choosing which of these X terms you're going to be using. You just have a look at what they're trying to get to at the end. Okay, then it says use the iterative formula, the, the formula with X zero equals one to find the real root of F. Oh. Oh my goodness me. So it's lots and lots of words on this sort of thing. But basically all they mean is start with x of 0 equals 1, which is what we're told there. And then take that information and plug it directly into the formula because x of n plus 1 is 0 plus 1. So basically all we're saying is the next iteration the next uh, development of this particular formula is to take this value of 1 and plug it in so we've got 3 minus 1 okay so that's going to be the cube root of the uh, the cube root of 2 and that's going to give you 1.25 992103 now you will need uh, one oh five. Sorry, you will need a scientific calculator for this, and it's much much easier to do these sorts of questions using the formula because we've got to get this correct to two decimal places. And what we're doing is incrementally changing our results. So we're taking now this, and we're going to plug it into the formula. So x2 is going to be the cube root of 3 minus the answer okay and this is the answer that's going to go into there so that's going to give us 1.20278965 so i would suggest that you're not uh, tempted to just shorten this down because we need to get to a point where we get the answer as being correct um, to two decimal places all the time okay and as I mentioned what we're going to do is at the end of it I'm going to explain why this is happening so this answer is going to go into this now so I'm going to get for x of 3 I'm going to get 2158111678 okay take this plug it straight in again so it's a little bit tedious uh, to do this sort of question, okay, it's a little bit like the old sort of trial and error. So actually, what we're going to get now is uh, two one two eight six eight zero seven three, okay, and x of five cube root again three minus the answer, okay. Plug that in, and that's going to give us one point two one three. 
5, 3, 4, 7, 1, 5. Okay, now hopefully what you can see here is that the answer correct to two decimal places is actually 1.21 because this number is not going to change because of this. And again, this number is not going to change because of this. So what I'm going to do is do it one more time just to prove this is the case. So x of 6 cube root minus the answer and that's equal to 1.21338384. Okay, and again, it's 1.21. So the answer to this particular question, so the uh, correct to 2dp equals 1.21. And that would be the end of that particular question. So it's a five minute video just to show you what iteration is all about. Okay, so if you wanna stop the video here, that's perfectly fine. For those who are kind of interested in why we do these sorts of things, I just wanna go back to the original um, formula where we've got x cubed. Now, um, an x cubed graph is going to look something like that okay so what we're doing here is we're saying actually in very incremental steps we're getting closer and closer to this solution okay so it might be that we start here as we did with these uh, 1.2599 so 1.2599 and as we feed the formula back in or as we feed the answer back in we're getting closer and closer to the value of x so that's really all we're doing and eventually we get to the point actually that would have been 1.2599 we're getting very very close to the point where we're working this out as 1.21 sorry about that okay so hopefully that gives you some idea that it iteration is all about getting closer and closer to the final answer okay i hope that's been useful to you please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything have a look at the channel there's plenty of other playlists on other topics within the GCSE curriculum. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.